My candidate for the most beautiful of all of our native wildflowers is Gentiana puberulenta, the prairie gentian or the downy gentian. Uh, in the gentian family, the gentianaceae. Uh, the gentianaceae uh, is a family uh, of many, many beautiful wildflowers, most of which are fall flowering, and you can find them out in high quality ecosystems. Uh, at this time of year in the greater Chicago region and all over the world. The uh, downy gentian or prairie gentian is a sea of 10, which means that you only find it in pristine ecosystems. Uh, these ecosystems are uh, prairies of the Midwest. Uh, the highest quality prairies uh, will support this particular species. It flowers from August 26th through October 13th. And you can find it flowering now where I did uh, at Somme Prairie Grove on the corner of Dundee and Waukegan. As you can see, this flower has uh, five petals. Uh, the five petals are fused below into a saucer shape uh, that's beautifully decorated in the interior and are free with five lobes uh, distally. One thing that's interesting about the gentian family and about this species in particular is between uh, the petal lobes, you can see extensions of that saucer-like corolla tube. Uh, and these are called plates, P-L-A-I-T-S. Uh, and you, have diff you can tell different species by the lengths of their plates. Uh, there are five stamens. These are withered now, and I'll explain more about that in just a bit, and in the center is the pistil with an ovary of very short style and stigmatic lobes uh, at the top. There are also five sepals, but you cannot see them in this picture. One of the most interesting things about uh, the prairie gentian is that it is protandrous which means that it has uh, separate male and female phases and the male sex parts mature before the female sex parts. So you can see here uh, in this particular flower is the male phase of uh, the prairie gentian. The uh, pistil is completely obscured by the five stamens that have just matured and are about to release their pollen. I took this picture on a Monday, September 14th, and on the same day, I took a picture of this flower in the female phase. And in the female phase, the male uh, anthers have already released their pollen, they've withered, and they have moved uh, to the exterior uh, to expose the now matured stigma and style and ovary. Uh, and now the female phase uh, is functional. And so the um, take home message from this is that on the same day, in the same population, some of the flowers were in the female phase and some of the flowers were in the male phase and that way cross pollination could be effectuated. A characteristic of the gentian family is that it has opposite leaves, sometimes more than two at a node, but in this case two, and the leaves are entire. And here is a uh, range map of the prairie gentian. Uh, we are in the lucky position of being on the eastern edge of its, of its range, uh, and as it extends out into the tall grass and short grass prairies of the center of North America.